you need to know to start your day. Number one, in Illinois, there are now new tougher penalties for distracted drivers. Starting next summer, driver's licenses can be suspended for a year if you cause a crash that kills someone or hurts someone while you're texting and driving. The bill also imposes a $1,000 fine for the same offense. The new law with stiffer penalties takes effect next July. Number two, Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker has signed a legislation that will raise teachers minimum salary to $40,000 within four years. The current minimum teacher salary ranges from $9,000 to $11,000. This new law goes into effect January 1st. Number three, state's attorneys general nationwide announced an agreement with 12 major phone carriers to crack down on illegal robocalls. The companies have agreed to take certain voluntary steps, including offering free call blocking to consumers, deploying a system that labels fake calls, and investigating suspicious calls and patterns. Number four, new in our 530 half hour, officials say a 20-year-old man posted posted a message on the internet threatening to, quote, shoot up a Planned Parenthood facility in Washington, D.C. Authorities say the suspect is the third person accused of threatening a Planned Parenthood site with violence this month alone. Number five and happening today, another day of protest is planned in Hong Kong, where accountants are planning to stage a rally. Protesters are also planning to form three human chains along three major subway lines. The anti-government protest started about two months ago, sparked by calls for the withdrawal of an unpopular extradition bill. Number six happening today, President Trump has a lunch with Secretary of State Mike Pompeo at the White House, where it's expected the pair will talk about the upcoming G7 summit, among other things. President Trump and the six other leaders of the Group of Seven Nations will begin meeting Saturday tomorrow for three days in France. And number seven, beautiful start to your day. Temperatures are currently into the upper 50s to lower 60s. It's a great way to kick off a Friday to kind of round out the weekend. We'll talk about some changes coming up in our seven-day forecast and some changes that may have you grabbing the jacket.